All right, guys, we got the trailer loaded. Uh, well, I didn't have to load anything because it just stays in the garage. So we're going to try <clears throat> this, uh, this new setup here because I ended up buying, uh, I got the GoPro 7 now. So we're going to check out the footage with it. We're also going to, uh, I got some battery pack for it that's supposed to make it last like nine continuous hours so i'm kind of curious to see how that goes but uh good morning it is early let's get the day started hope you liked the last video i'm debating on doing videos like that some people like them a lot of people don't so i don't know but uh i figure i throw one in every now and then so let's get the day going All right, at the first property, man, this thing has grown. Holy moly, mackerels. Look at this. Oh my God, so crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, well, let's uh, get this one knocked out and move on with the date. All right, guys, we got that one done, taken care of. So uh, let's show you. So here's the after. Not too shabby for what it was. It was very, 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 very tall. But uh, here it is. So one down, we'll show you some backyard footage real quick. Uh, didn't take the camera back there, but I did get some pictures. So we'll roll them now. And that's gonna knock this one out. Moving on to the next one. Solo Rolo. This is this is a Ray, Lo, Ray Solo day is what this is. So, uh, all right, we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, here's the next one. This is a new property. Just literally picked this up last week. So, uh, mow all this. Usually he mows this right here, but he said it stays wet. So, uh, we're going to see if we can't get it mowed. And, uh, then we got all this. Looks like no trimming's really been done here. So, we're going to knock some of this trimming out and uh let me switch this camera to linear all right never mind it's already on linear so uh anyway here it is so we're going to get this one knocked out here and uh move on all right guys we got this knocked down man the twills went through that like it was pretty much nothing uh but here's here it is um and then we got this side over here as well done there was a lot of uh a lot of these clumps you know all this brown stuff in the yard from where uh they had mowed it last time but we got everything trimmed up so all the trimming's done it looks like a totally different house now so uh moving on another one down i mean there's no no sun out but uh stripes are popping imagine what they would look like with the sun out man I gotta pick this little trash up right here, but all right. Got that one done, that one down. Uh, got somebody that uh, said they wanted to work. So I've gotta get this stuff done. We got rain coming in. There was no way I was gonna get them done by myself. So I've did five uh, and it's uh, 11.51 so we will let you know we'll keep you updated keep you uh going throughout the day and uh yeah moving on man so hey one thing i did find with these twills <coughs> is they hold some grass man they hold some grass look at that they hold some grass in them <coughs> so uh i mean i don't think it's gonna be hard to get out but they do hold some grass more filthy anyway so all right moving on all right guys got that one done man all this double cutting is uh getting to me for sure so i've did a lot and i haven't showed you hardly any um so i guess this is gonna be a short video i've got three more to go um so i may end up driving by some of them and showing them to you 
uh, just to show them to you. So uh, let's move on here. Well, guys, I just totally messed the whole video up, really. I mean, let's just talk about it. Uh, I just got done. I'm headed home. It's 8.05, uh, so 12-hour day. You got to do what you got to do, you know, but uh, I got them all done. So that's what matters. And hey, I'm happy. I wish I could uh I wish I would have remembered to get y'all more footage, but man, it was crazy. It was a crazy day for sure. So uh everything got done anyhow. The twills, let's talk about the twills real quick. Uh the twills. As you've seen in the video, they do hold grass. Uh, they are smoother riding. The fronts on gravel, I wouldn't say are smoother at all. Uh, but going through a lawn and stuff, you really can't tell a difference. But once you're on like a gravel driveway or something, you can tell the fronts are that hard plastic on, you know, my Toro anyway. Uh, they do hold a hill very well. Um, usually when I come down a hill and I, I got a, I go to reverse, I've got to do a little bounce to get the, the pneumatic tires to actually grip uh, with the, with the uh, twills. I don't have to do that. Uh, they they grip real well. Uh, another thing that I noticed that I really, really like, okay? No matter whether it's wet or dry, when you go to turn around in like a driveway or something, you leave tire marks. These don't leave tire marks. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's see, so don't leave tire marks. Um, you can get stuck, uh, let's say that right now. Um, I've went through some stuff that I probably would not put like today in the video. Uh, if you've seen the second property, I probably would not have put a pneumatic tire on that as wet as it was, but the twills, you know, worked great on it. So, uh, I think that's about all I got for them. I did not have to re-level my deck. Um, I put the twills on and took it to get re-leveled and everything's level, so I did not have to worry about that. So that was a good thing. Um, I guess if you have any questions, let me know. They do hold a hill uh, better than pneumatics. I wouldn't say way better than pneumatics. Um, but I would say you can you can definitely tell a difference that they do hold better than pneumatic tires. Uh, but the right heel, they're still going to you know in my opinion they're still going to you know you're still going to have that slide, especially if it's wet. I'm really really waiting to see what they do on the wet because everything I've done is really dry. So uh, with it being dry, I mean they're they're holding heels real well uh compared to the pneumatics when i had them on the the grandstand they actually um would you know you could you feel yourself slide a little bit and uh so with them you don't feel that uh they they hold pretty good with the with the heels i've got and the great thing like i said the probably the best thing i like about them is uh they don't leave tire marks on on uh, concrete. I think that's awesome. So, uh, but they work great. They actually, you know, I'm loving them as of right now. So, uh, the fronts, if you've got airless tires, uh, honestly, I don't know if I'd buy them. Um, I don't know if there's actually a benefit to having the fronts, uh, but they look good. But if you've already got the, you know, the non-flat 
no flat fronts, then I don't know. The fronts on gravel uh, are, you know, they're not as rough on as the uh, twills are, the front twills. Uh, but see, I don't have the front twills on the, the grandstand. And when you go over gravel, you can literally tell that it's smoother. Um, it is a smoother ride, regardless of what you're you're on. You can tell that it's smoother. So, anyway, um, I've still got to get home, unload. I'm whooped, boy. I am whooped. So that's going to do it for this one. If y'all have any questions about the twills, let me know. I try to get some footage on some. Uh, you know, I don't have any big big heels. I've got heels, but not, you know, nothing crazy like some of these guys do with retention ponds and stuff. So uh, that's gonna do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget about the 10K giveaway. Man, I cannot wait to announce all the stuff that, it, all, the, all the people, companies that are involved in this is just fabulous. So uh, anyway, y'all have a good night. Have a great weekend and uh, have a safe, weekend. We will see y'all soon.